How's it going? Today I'll be showing you how to use the reduce method on arrays in JavaScript. So basically reduce allows you to reduce an array down to a single value or single result. So for example, if we define an array called numbers, which has numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, we can use reduce to find the total sum of all these numbers. So we can define a new variable called total equal to numbers dot reduce. This will take a callback function with two parameters, accumulator and n. We can just simply return accumulator plus n. So right here we have a callback function passed to the reduce method. This function takes two parameters, accumulator and n. So n is the current elements we're on in the array and accumulator is the result of the previous return statement. So for example if we're currently on element number one or number one the accumulator will be zero and n will be one so it will return zero plus one which is one. Now this result here which is one will be the accumulator for the next element. So with two we're going to see 1 and 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. With 3, we're going to see 3 and 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. With 4, we get 6 and 4. 6 plus 4 is 10 and then so on. So now we can log out the result and we should see 15. So we'll refresh and we see 15. And that is how the reduce method works on arrays in JavaScript. Thank you for watching. See you later.